So finding free overnight parking while you're out there RVing can be a little bit on the tricky side. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to find those wonderful free overnight parking spots as well is talk about just some etiquette that you need to be aware of while you're utilizing those, so stay tuned. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So it used to be just kind of a surefire bet that any Walmart would allow free overnight parking. And if you just found a local Walmart, well, there's your spot to park for the night. That's changed quite a bit over the years for a lot of different reasons, all of which we're not going to go into in this particular video, but just suffice it to say that has changed significantly. And because of that, there are some Walmarts you can park overnight for free, some you can't, but there's a ton of other spots where you can find free overnight parking in addition to those occasional Walmart parking lots. So how do you find places with free overnight parking? There's a lot of apps and desktop versions of different softwares that can be used. I personally like to use the Allstays app if I am on mobile, just because I can pull up a map of an area and it shows me at a glance all of the different places that are there that allow free overnight parking, but also campgrounds, state parks, things of that nature. If you're using RV Trip Wizard on desktop, there is a specific filter just for free overnight parking. And so that is a great resource that you can use as well. There's also apps like RV Parky and Compendium. Now, Compendium's kind of nice because Compendium will actually show you some extra things about that particular location as far as cell service. So if you have, say, Verizon for your data plan and you wanna know are you gonna have good cell service in that particular area, a lot of times reviewers will leave those reviews on Compendium and so you just have a good idea idea of what to expect while you're parked there overnight. So we'll talk about some of our favorite places to find free overnight parking here in just a few minutes, but some places that you can find free overnight parking that are kind of outside of the box thinking are places like casinos and even casinos sometimes actually have full hookup parking that's available because they want people to come and gamble at the casino. Another outside of the box area that you could potentially park overnight for free are places like stadiums and arenas, places like church parking lots, movie theaters that usually have big parking lots and tend to let out late. Also places like Planet Fitness, 24 hour fitness usually tend to have large parking lots. Now here's the deal. <laughs> Don't just go park overnight in these areas without at least making a phone call and making sure that that's an okay practice or that that particular business does not mind that you're using their parking lot. Most of the time you will find places like churches definitely don't mind if you're not doing it on say a weekend when they expect that their parking lots will be more full and you just need to park overnight say during the middle of the week. One place that you can check are things like RV Parky and Campendium to look at what other reviewers are saying about that particular area that you're considering parking overnight in. There have been many times that we've considered parking overnight at say a Cracker Barrel and I've used something like RV Parky or Campendium to look at reviews and people have said that maybe it's next to an interstate that's very busy and there's a lot of road noise or that they don't allow overnight parking anymore or that maybe they only have three spots that would even fit an RV and if I know it's kind of the height of busy RV season that just might not be the best place. So utilizing reviews that other people leave and if you have an experience at a place with overnight parking, leave a review as well because that helps others in the RV community be able to know if this is or isn't a good place to park overnight. So let's talk a little bit about Harvest Hosts. Now, Harvest Host is a great program that allows for free overnight parking 
It places like wineries, breweries, farms, orchards. They have a golf course add-on that they just recently added into their membership. We personally do have a Harvest Host membership and we also have a discount code that'll be in the description below. If you're thinking about Harvest Hosts for this RV coming season, you can save 15% with our link. Couple of things to remember about Harvest Hosts if you choose to use it looking for some free overnight parking. Number one, most places do require some sort of reservation or advance notice. A lot of these types of places don't just have a huge parking lot that can park hundreds of RVs at a time. So they do have some sort of reservation system where they might have five to 10 places that would accommodate an RV, especially if it's an RV that's a little bit longer in length. So you do have to use the Harvest Host system or reach out directly to the contact person of that particular business to make a reservation and secure your spot. The other thing is, is that these business owners will require that you arrive during business hours. They don't want you pulling in at 10 o'clock at night or when they're not available to help show you where it is that they want you to park and to be able to set up. So if you are wanting to use a Harvest Host location for your stay, you do have to plan in advance and make those reservations and just make all of those arrangements. It's not really one of those things where you can just look last minute and then pull over for the night and you know pull in at 10 o'clock at night because that is what we tend to do. We haven't actually used our Harvest Hosts this season yet just because we do tend to use overnight parking more for those longer travel days between point A, point B, where we know we're gonna be putting in a longer stretch and probably not pulling off the road until 10 or maybe even 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. So we're gonna talk about our favorite places to park overnight for free and some of the places that we have parked overnight for free in the last four years. But before I do that, I just wanna make sure that you have hit that subscribe button. Every time that we release a new video, if you've hit that subscribe button and tap the bell, you will just get a quick notification on your phone that a new video is available and ready for you to watch when you're ready to watch it. Our number one favorite place to overnight park for free is Cracker Barrel, just like we're doing right now. The reason that we love Cracker Barrel so much is because we really enjoy just eating a nice breakfast in the morning. The other reason is, is they have very large parking lots. They're RV friendly. They're usually somewhat close to an interstate, which might make for a little bit of road noise during the night while you're sleeping, which we just run some fans to kind of help negate that but it means that it's not too far off of the beaten path. So this particular Cracker Barrel, we pulled in about 10 o'clock last night, went to bed, got up, had a very lovely breakfast, and we're about ready to get on the road. Our number two favorite spot to park overnight for free would be a Cabela's or a Bass Pro Shops. Now, these particular locations always have huge parking lots and a lot of them actually even have a RV dump station and a water fill station. And so very RV friendly, very easy to find overnight parking. And you usually will find yourselves with other RVers in these locations. Our number three, favorite place to overnight park is actually at rest stops that are in more remote areas. So perfect example of this was earlier this summer, we were traveling through the middle of nowhere, Montana and North Dakota. And there were several rest stops along the way that are just off of the highway in these areas, but these are very remote areas. And so even though you're right off of the highway in a rest stop, it is not heavy traffic. It's very, very quiet. You can see the stars. It's just one of those beautiful places, kind of a hidden gem for free overnight parking in those particular types of areas. So no video on overnight parking would really be complete unless that we kind of talked about some etiquette or some do's and don'ts of what to do and how to just be a better camper when it comes to utilizing these free overnight stops. So number one is you wanna make sure that you park away from the main business area. And if they have designated RV parking where your RV will fit, park there. If not, 
Find a place that you just aren't going to be impeding any normal flows of that particular business so that you can park out of the way. The second thing is to make sure that you don't overstay your welcome. So that means just park for the one night that you need to park there for. This isn't free camping. This isn't a place for you to come in and set up camp for the week and throw out the lawn chairs and put your slides out and your patio rug and call it home. No, this is just a quick place to lay your head for the night and move on the next day. Number three is avoid dropping levelers if you can. Now, this again is just kind of common courtesy. It also makes sure that there's no potential damage to the parking lot if it has been a very hot day and there's potentially fresh asphalt. So unless that you absolutely need to, to be able to somehow keep your fridge from not working or something like that, just leave those leveling jacks up. Most parking lots are fairly level to where that shouldn't be a problem anyway. Number four is you wanna make sure that if you do need to put a slide out, that you park in an area where putting that slide out is not going to then impede into another parking space. So a lot of RVs, ours included, if we don't at least put out our bedroom slide, you can't really walk around the bed or access the closet. Some RVs like fifth wheels, you can't access the bathroom or the kitchen if at least one slide isn't out. So make sure that as you pull in and you look at where you're going to park, that you're parked in such a way that putting out that slide that maybe you need to put out doesn't cause any traffic issues or then doesn't take up parking spaces that other people could be utilizing because you've put that slide out. Number five is don't run your generator unless absolutely necessary for something that is more of an emergency type need. And also don't run that generator during those nighttime hours, especially when there's other campers that are overnight parking with you. Now, the last and probably most important thing when it comes to overnight parking etiquette is when you are parked overnight in a business's parking lot, do something to patronize that business. So for us, Cracker Barrel, we went in and we had a really nice breakfast this morning. If you're parked at Walmart, go get some groceries. If you park at a Cabela's or a Bass Pros, run in and, and purchase a t-shirt or, or something that maybe you need for your RV. Just patronize that business is a way to say thank you to that business for allowing you to use their parking lot for the night. Would allow free overnight parking. <laughs> You do have to plan the nah, getting bit. So if your goal is to delay the departure of this train, you're killing it. So we're gonna tell that. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna add slurps to every time you every time you do that. Okay, that's fine. Our hold on. Gathering thoughts. Gathering thoughts. Other people are perching. Nah. It's a great way we can all save money together. Holy cow, Jake Break. Why? Why? Every time. So you'll have to let us know in the comments below, but when you leave a comment below, you're not just letting us know, you're also letting others in the RV community know as well. One of the things we love about the RV community is the way that we all just so generously share information and support each other. So definitely leave a comment and let us and others know about your favorite free overnight parking or your favorite ways to find free overnight parking. I'm gonna put some more videos about trip planning and RV trips in general right up here. I'll put a video that I think you might enjoy up here. You can check out our Instagram over here and don't forget to subscribe right down here. If we don't see you at the campground or out on the road, we'll see you in the next video.